where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I know many of you have heard that before. And I wanna ask you, what do you think that means? When you think about that, is it just like, if the Lord's presence is present, then you get free? There's an element of that that is true, that where the spirit of the Lord dwells, that there are opportunities to taste the freedom of the Lord. But how does the spirit offer to us that freedom? Well, the answers to that are found in the verses before and after that very famous verse where the spirit of the Lord is there's freedom. The verses before talk about the realities of the new covenant and how when someone turns to the Lord that the veil is removed. What does that mean? Well, let's look at the next verse. And we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. So we see here that the freedom, the liberty that the Spirit offers comes by the veils being removed and our ability to behold the glory of the Lord with unveiled face, with with unhindered sight, we're able to see the glory of the Lord. And then we become what we behold. As we behold the majesty of Jesus, we're transformed into that same image from one degree of glory to the next, little by little. This freedom that the Lord offers is more than just the spirit is in the room, but it's that the spirit of wisdom and revelation is able to correct our vision to behold the glory of God. And that as we see and as we catch a revelation of who Jesus is, as we see his beauty and his glory and his truth, that truth can actually set us free and that beauty can actually transform us. It's where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom because it's where the spirit opens our eyes to see Jesus rightly, that we are set free and transformed. It's by seeing Jesus rightly that we're saved, healed, delivered, sanctified, and set free. It's there where strongholds and false thought patterns are brought low and truth is exalted that we taste true freedom.